Today's review is on the McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's set, Game Area. This set is number 12696. It contains 259 pieces and retails for about $30 in the United States. There's a link in the description where you can order this set online. The official release date is June 15th, but many people have already found them in stores. Many thanks to McFarland Toys for sending me this set for free to review. McFarland Toys is currently hosting a giveaway for some of the sets from Wave 3 of their Five Nights at Freddy's construction line. You can go to a link in the description to enter the contest between now and June 12th, 2017. So those of you who tuned into my live stream and slow build have already seen a little bit of the game area, but let's get up close and personal with everything in a way I couldn't on the live stream. First off, here is Balloon Boy. Um, this is an exciting figure. Uh, I think Balloon Boy is one of the creepiest parts of Five Nights at Freddy's, being this tiny little balloon boy that just kind of scampers around and just super creepy. Um, but I think they did a great job with the figure here. All the custom molding and painting looks really great on the head and the torso. They've created two new arm molds, uh, one arm holding the balloon sign, which looks great, and the other arm holding the balloon itself, which also looks fantastic. Uh, the balloon apparently can come apart. The top two pieces uh, split apart and come off of the rod, but I didn't want to mess around with that for fear of breaking it. Um, so I'm not going to mess with it. Balloon Boy is a little side heavy. He tends to fall over towards the balloon, so that's why I've got him attached to this clear base plate to make it all work. Uh, his propeller on his beanie looks great. Uh, yeah, Balloon Boy is just looking really great and phenomenal. Not a lot to say except that great work. Um, one thing that people have uh, pointed out in the comments is that Balloon Boy is not technically an animatronic and so the fact that he's got a little bit of endoskeleton showing is uh, not necessarily accurate but I think it is nice that you can open Balloon Boy's mouth uh, because it is the same sort of three-piece head design that we've seen with the animatronic figures rather than the one-piece design we saw with the puppet so I think it's a good compromise in terms of giving Balloon Boy a little bit extra character and uh, interchangeability uh, that way so I think that was a good decision Here's a look at Balloon Boy with Nightmare Balloon Boy. You can see uh, some of the similarities, differences. Again, um, the heads are, and arms are totally different here. Uh, even the propeller and the beanie seems to be uh, slightly different between the two, uh, not just in terms of color, but also in terms of mold. So they're definitely putting plenty of work into making these characters stand apart, um, even though they're ostensibly very similar. Hi, would you like some balloons? Sure, I'll eat the balloons, and then I'll eat your soul. That's not very nice. Ooh. And here's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of my brick-built balloon boy at action figure scale and the official McFarland Toys balloon boy. Hello, I'm balloon boy. Hi, I'm big balloon boy. Nom, 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 nom. Now let's take a look at the Mangle figure. Um, this is a really cool animatronic figure. Mangle's a really interesting character with lots of arms and legs coming off in different directions, two heads, uh, fun stuff. Um, I know some of you are probably going to not like that Mangle has three legs. Um, that's kind of how Mangle is in the FNAF world, the Adventure Time Mangle, if you will. Uh, so I think it makes sense for stability purposes to do three legs. I know in the game you can't really see all of Mangle's legs, so it's debatable. But yeah, I think they did a really great job with this. The hands are really great. They redesigned some of the ways that this figure connects uh, based on some problems they had with Nightmare Mangle. So you can see the neck is now a really stable connection here as opposed to the one we got on Nightmare Mangle which broke. And again if you have a broken Nightmare Mangle you should always contact McFarland Toys customer service on their website to get a replacement. Um, yeah, great looks for the hands and all that. The uh, the bending at the waist and twisting at the waist seem to work better than they did in Nightmare Mangle, so it's a little easier to do a lot of different poses for Mangle, uh, which is fun. Um, yeah, I think the the 
painted foot and the two blank feet are both really nice feet to get. Uh, these could be used for just kind of fun endoskeleton or uh, just random animatronic feet uh, in a bunch of different ways. But yeah, Mangle looks great. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my brick-built versions of Mangle at minifig, double fig, and action figure scale. Again, we can see the McFarland Toys uh, official figure lines up really well with my double fig size figure, except looking a lot better and more official. Um, but yeah, just some fun comparisons to my builds. So while the head of Mangle looks very similar to Funtime Foxy, uh, they do have some internal differences uh, that make them incompatible for switching back and forth if you want. So the uh, bottom of Mangle's head is a, per, uh, is a rectangle. It doesn't have a little bump in the front. Um, and you know all the other animatronics insides have that bump. So that means you can't put Mangle's head on a regular animatronic body, so don't try that. You can put animatronic heads on Mangle's necks, um, at least the top, so you can do some weirdness like that if you want. Fun weird things. Uh, but you could switch out, you know, Mangle and Nightmare Mangle's heads if you're so inclined. But Nightmare Mangle's head can't go there. Probably the weirdest thing you can do. Uh, so the endoskeleton head here functions like the normal endoskeleton interior piece. So you can put uh, animatronic head tops on top of that. So you could put, for instance, Funtime Foxy's head uh, with Mangle, and then it can be two heads, one Mangle. I think we should go this way. Do 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 do. No, we're going this way. Do, 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 do. But. I'm gonna hit you. Smack. You missed. Ha 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 Mangle, mangle, mangle. Mangle, mangle, mangle. Why did I do that different voice? I don't know. If you want to make things even weirder, you can take uh, the nightmare mangle head arm piece and stick it on there for three mangle heads on one body, which is just totally normal, not weird and bizarre at all. Oh, we dropped our head. Oh, we dropped our head. So here's a look at all the foxy, mangly variants that have been released by McFarland Toys so far. As far as the little figures, uh, we'll also be getting Withered Foxy in the parts and service set. And then just really be missing uh, Nightmare Foxy and Phantom Mangle, I think. So, pretty good in terms of foxy mangle representation. Now let's take a look at the game area set itself. Again, like a lot of other McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's sets, it's basically just a floor and a wall with a couple key features. Uh, the main cool thing about this is this carousel, which actually the things move up and down as you spin it. So that's like fun that it actually works like a carousel. You can see on the inside that there's a curved piece down here that they uh, move their little pointy bar parts up and down on to uh, go up and down. So that's a nice, cool uh, feature that the carousel actually works. It also means that it comes apart really easily because these don't actually connect. You just have to rely on gravity. So just be aware of that when you're playing with it. But uh, it's really nice that they made the carousel work. Um, the details of all of the characters represented as their carousel components uh, work really nice. Uh, they look a little weird because, uh, again, like bears and bunnies and foxes aren't necessarily the shape they are here, or at least the fox would have a tail. Uh, so they don't look like real animals necessarily, but they look exactly like they do in the game, so that's what's important. We get another table like we did in the party room with Toy Freddy, as well as some of the purple chairs. Again, this is really great uh, both for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 or if you want to recreate the dining area from Five Nights at Freddy's 1 to get those tables, um, party hats, and chairs. Uh, the wall details are similar to all the other Five Nights at Freddy's 2 sets. The green and black checkers, the um, sort of confetti wallpaper above and below, and lots of stickers to make it pretty accurate. And here's a look at all six of the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 playsets, uh, kind of combined. They don't really merge together 
perfectly, but we've got the two vents, the office hallway, party room over here, and the prize corner and the uh, game area do go together pretty nicely in that they're in the same room. Uh, this one's a little shorter than that one, uh, and they don't necessarily have connecting floor and stuff, but uh, putting them just like that feels kind of like it makes sense in terms of the room layout. Um, so yeah, no, it's really starting to come together to feel like it's starting to form the whole pizzeria. So that's definitely a cool thing. Just get a few more of the party room set and you could build out the party room and then you just have to work on hallways and lots of other rooms. But uh, still coming together pretty nicely uh, just over these few waves and assuming we're gonna get wave four of Five Nights at Freddy's sets uh, sometime later this year or next year, hopefully we'll get even more of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Oh right, and we've got parts and service coming, so that'll be uh, another piece to add very soon. Overall, I think this is a really nice Five Nights at Freddy's set. Having both Mangle and Balloon Boy in their original forms uh, feels really great. They're both nicely done figures. The posability of Mangle is really fun and exciting. Um, as for the build of the set itself, getting tables and chairs is great for representing parts of the pizzeria, as well as the carousel being a really accurate representation. Um, so yeah, really uh, worth the money, I think, if you're into Five Nights at Freddy's. Another great addition to the McFarland Toys lineup. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Brick 101 and click on this button here to watch more of my Five Nights at Freddy's videos.